So in this section, we're going to go through the process of releasing our PAR server to production. And just going through some of the steps that you might need to take just to make sure that it's production ready. Now, if you're already very used to building and manipulating uh, websites and web applications, then this section probably isn't going to give you any new information. But if this is something that you're not particularly used to, maybe you're a mobile application developer and you're just taking this course just to get an understanding of how to build your own server-side uh, component using Pars Server and you're not so knowledgeable on web applications, then yeah, this section is going to be really useful to you and really show you how to prepare your PAR server for use in a production environment. So what do I think needs to be done in order to release your PAR server to production? Well, one of the things that I think is really important is to have your own custom domain. Now, the way I've showed you how to host your PAR server using Heroku, Heroku give you your own URL, so whatever the name of your app, .herokuapp.com. And that also has SSL as well, so it also has HTTPS, whatever the name of your app, .herokuapp.com. And that's what we've been using so far in this course. Now, if that URL will never ever be visible by your end user, then that actually might be okay. But especially if you're trying to host some landing pages associated with your site, or just want to make it seem a little bit more professional, you probably want to host it on your own custom domain. Or perhaps even at some later date, you may want to move off Heroku onto your own uh, infrastructure or some different infrastructure. It makes sense to always be hosting this stuff from your own domain. So that's what we're going to show you uh, in this section is how to host your PAR server on your own custom domain. Now, when it comes to hosting from your own custom domain, we need to start dealing with the issue of HTTPS. Now, again, if you're just using HerokuApp.com, you can piggyback off their SSL certificate and therefore you can have HTTPS connections to your server. Now, if you're not really too sure what's the difference between HTTP and HTTPS, S just means secure, right? It means it's the, it's the secure private method of communication. The body of your requests are actually encrypted, okay? So if you just did HTTP, when someone logged in from your app, app to the server and they sent their email and password, if it's just HTTP, that's sent without any encryption at all. I don't even mean it's hard to hack. I mean, it's just easy to hack. Any, it's not even considered a hack. It's, you're just literally, you might as well be shouting your password out as you're typing it into your computer. It's that easy. HTTP is no security. It's zero encryption. So anybody on the same Wi-Fi network could just tap into it and find out what your password is. Okay. So that's why we won't always want to use HTTPS when communicating with your PAR server, with your any API system. And with HTTPS, the body, the content of every message is actually encrypted. So basically anybody on the same Wi-Fi network or trying to actively hack into your system won't be able to see the data that you're passing from your browser or your app to the server and back again. So you definitely want HTTPS. No matter what solution you go for, you absolutely need HTTPS. And to set up all the PAR security features, which I've mentioned in previous sections. And the next thing I would say is to set up your Heroku instance to use production grade dynos and perhaps production grade resources, but that's really up to you. The free servers that you get on Heroku have less support, less uptime, and um, you can't run them continuously throughout the month. But you know, if you're only just starting out in your application, it might just be okay for you. But if you're getting any kind of users or load, or especially if you're getting any paying users, you absolutely, I would say, need to change your dynos to production grade. But this is when Heroku starts costing you money. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Now for the first two, the custom domain and HTTPS, the solution I like to use is to use a service called Cloudflare. To set up HTTPS, normally you'd have to purchase an SSL certificate and then install that on your Heroku server. And it, it can be a bit time consuming. But I think with using Cloudflare, it gives you HTTPS for free. Um, plus it, very, it makes it very easy, easy to set up your custom domain. And it also gives you a bunch of other features as well. So just to explain what Cloudflare is, if you imagine 
a request from your browser, from your application, to your PaaS server, if it's going through herokuapp.com, it would typically make a request to the Heroku infrastructure. That request, the Heroku infrastructure would then forward that request to your PaaS server. The PaaS server would figure out what to do and send the response back to your browser. Cloudflare is something that sits in front of your Heroku server. So when you make a request, it goes to your Cloudflare server, perhaps just to get the IP address of your Heroku instance, or perhaps it just literally goes through the Cloudflare server and directly to your Heroku server, to your Heroku infrastructure. And then again, that passes into your PaaS server, back through Heroku, perhaps back through Cloudflare, but definitely back to your browser. So what does Cloudflare give you? Well, one of the things it gives you is DNS management. Now, whatever service you bought your domain from, they would also provide you with DNS management. What is DNS management? Basically, every server in the world is uniquely identified by four numbers and a third number perhaps for the port. So your local computer could be identified as 127.0.0.1. But when we go to a URL in our browser, we typically type in a word, a domain name, so google.com perhaps. Now a DNS server is kind of like a distributed database which lets you say, oh, google.com, if anybody types google.com, actually go to this computer which is identified by these four numbers. That's all a DNS server is. At its most basic sense, that's all a DNS server is. And so what Cloudflare lets you do is, is it just gives you an easy way to manage your DNS settings. Again, whoever you bought your domain name from would also have these, or, or should also have this feature in their control panel, but I just prefer to use the Cloudflare mechanism. And again, as I mentioned before, it also gives you um, free SSL. So you, you're kind of using the Cloudflare security certificate you're trusting them, but Cloudflare is a company that's, that's worth, we, we can trust, they're, about, they're all about internet security. And basically for free, it doesn't cost you any money at all. They give you HTTPS uh, to and from your server. And also, they also have a bunch of performance improvements. So it doesn't really affect your API calls, but especially if you're serving any images or JavaScript files or CSS or even HTML, it can cache those um, on their servers so that the next time somebody requests them, they'll get the files will be returned to them even faster. So it gives you a slight performance boost as well. And also because Cloudflare is all about security, they have a massive database of IP addresses that of suspected bots. So bots are kind of uh, scripts that people write which crawl the internet and perhaps do bad things. So they have a big database of all, all of those bots are and every time they detect that there's a request coming in from one of these uh, malicious bots, it blocks it. And the same thing goes for hackers. So if it detects that you're getting some sort of hack attempt onto your servers, it automatically attempts to block it. So a really, really useful feature for adding security to your PaaS application. It's free, or you can go use the free plan. is is really powerful, and uh, that's what I like to use, and that's what I'm going to show you how to use in this section.